Hello, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this week? Um, we got our, we're back to doing our bi weekly feature car because we did the main episode last week and it's going to be Elijah's because I did the last one. So we'll have Elijah take it away. So you all know what this is. This car has been with me for a very long time, probably seven years now. This is my stop T Jet. It has gone through many, many changes over the years. This body, you all know, is brand new. I showed this on a video when we got back from the fray. Socks and Martin drag car body. Um, uh, the tires, the wheel and tires came off of a super stock chassis. We're going to talk to our local group, see if we can get them legal, if we can find, if we can find get a supply. a supply and just them separately. But, um... This car is very special to me. I've had it for such a long time, and it's T-Jet. My favorite cars to play with and race with are T-Jets. Um, this car, again, has gone through many, many changes. I don't think I ever showed you the reason why I got a new body for this. I think you that's, mentioned it. That's the reason. I mentioned it, but um, you can see that's the reason right there. I was, I was trying to... Uh, do the trick with uh, stripping problems. What you do is you take a drop of glue, put it on top, and kind of screw the screw in. Um, the glue got contact with the top, with the underside of the screw, and it got it permanently stuck in there, and I didn't realize that, and I tried to get it off, and the, it's a flathead, so the flathead of the, the screwdriver slipped, and I went straight through the nose. But it was about time I got a new body. I've been using that this body for about eight years now we ha I used this while we were in the double decker place five, five or eight years something like that seven or I'd say six seven or eight years yeah, something like that. I'd been using right that there. I was already thinking about changing but this ever since I put this body on this car has been twitchy it's not sitting straight now I don't know how to fix how I'm gonna fix that just keep tinkering with it. It'll keep I'm gonna tinkering with it. But um, it is it is fast. This car is its top is has hit. It's I think the highest it's gone is 98. I will not tell you how fast I've gotten it. No other car in the house is that fast. This is the fastest stock T jet in the house. I will not let my secrets out. I can to my family, but to no one else. Tinker. That's all we can that, say. That's all I can say. Um. Our, our tinkering rules are you cannot touch the plastic, you cannot balance the arm, you cannot mushroom, that's part of touching the plastic, you can't have a matched set of gears, you can't have hollow gears. The gears that you, that come with the car when you bought the stock T-Jet chassis has to stay. You cannot use a different set of gears, am I right? But you, but you can't polish them, though. You, can't, you can polish them. Yeah. Um, but they have to be stock gears. You cannot yeah. balance the motor again, but you can you can squeeze. You can you, you can, can adjust your gears. You your can adjust gears. the gears. Yes. Um. You cannot use. We don't use tungsten axles. We. Um, yeah, they got to be stock axles. Stock with tires, except for you can't. We can't find the stock with silicones I right found now. Them. I found them. Oh, I just got to order them. Oh, sweet. Um. I'm gonna found see. Where I can get some. I'm gonna see if I can get the super stock wheels uh, and tires legal because. They are wider than stock width. But not by much, though. Not if you by see, much. As you can see, they're not by much. So it's it. You're still within, basically, a legal stock width. They're just a tad wider, not but much. They. The only thing that I can give you as a, a description of performance-wise is they're in the middle of a silicone and a stock tire. They're really good when they're clean, and then they're they're they act when they're dirty. They act like a clean uh, stock. Rubber tire. Rubber tire. Like completely Basically. stock when you buy them. That that's that's the best description I can give. Um if any of you have raced with silicones on T jets, you know they're good when they're clean, they're decent when they're dirty. Um just all I can say is these tires are in between. But it is nice. They um they'll never come off because of the uh the way the the wheels are set up, they're inside the wheel. It can't come off at all. But um, this is this car I've had for many years. I've raced it for many years. It is my racing stock T jet. I do have a second one that I need to get up. It is my backup. If this one, if I'm in the middle of a race, 
and this one isn't performing right, I just use the other one. But I, sh I shouldn't go into yeah. big description with that. I'll just go so. on and on. But um, once again, that this car, this car is very special to me, and I whip everybody with it. He, uh, I built it for him, and then when he got old enough to start tinkering with it on his own, he took it even further. So I, yeah, especially um, I, I've always tried messing with my my cars at all point, at all times in my life when I first started, especially when I got around the ages of ten and whatnot. But after I got back from the fray, I dove deep. The first year, yeah. The first year, I dove deep into TJs. So that's almost all I touched. I almost never touched my magnet cars or magnet tractions. I just went deep into T-Jet. And I, I messed with all of my T-Jets. So if uh, you guys want one of these... Um, Body-wise, anyway. Well, actually, there's a couple. There's two complete chassis, and then there's one listing for the body on eBay right now. Um, by the way, this is a model motoring body, if you guys want to know. It's uh, not in, it's not a Johnny Lightning, and it's not the new Aurora. This is a model motoring body. Um, there's there's two complete cars listed on eBay right now. One they want, uh, and I don't know, is that, is that a sterling bid on that? I can't remember. Let me look. Or is that a buy it now price? Uh, no, buy it now. There's one on there right now. Buy it now for fifty four ninety eight. And as you can see, they put some aftermarket wheels on it. They kind of look like maybe a set of 3R wheels. Um, there is a body only listed on eBay right now, which is buy it now for 20 bucks. So if you already have a chassis and you want just the body, they've got one that way as well. And then there's another one that looks like it might be a complete chassis and body model motoring car. And they want uh, buy it now for forty four ninety nine. So just depends on how much you want to pay. But there is a couple on eBay right now. So if you want one, go out and get it before somebody else buys it. Now maybe you can get just the body because that's probably the cheapest way to go because they want twenty bucks. And that that's what you paid for that one, wasn't it? I paid twenty dollars. They paid for twenty this. bucks for it, so and, that's about um, the going price. I did mod. I did uh, mod this body myself. Yeah, he uh, he uh, uh, lowered the front post on it to bring the front end down a yeah. little bit. I, I would rather have it in what would normally be a starting stance. Yeah. It was um, before it was in a, the whole body it was, was in an upward stance. Was it upward? Or it level? was. It was on an upward yeah, stance. Kind of, kind of, kind of like a gasser stance. Like what? Either like a gasser stance or what it'd be doing going down the track. Yeah. Um, I'd rather have it in this stance, especially since I race it on turns and whatnot. Yeah. So. But you can't you can't say oh you're racing it wrong because. Yeah. So it just depends. So that's this week's bi-weekly featured car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next week, I think we're going to start, we're going to look into fixing some chassis. Um, I'm going to talk about doing some repairs that you guys can do on chassis. And then an upcoming video, we're going to finally break out the Italian. It's the Italian. Italian slot car. I can't think of the name right off the top of my head. But we're going to show you, we're going to show you how this thing performs, uh, the way it sits. And then we're going to do some changes to it to see if we can't make this thing run like a uh, like a uh, 440X2 or a, or a uh, super, G, uh, yeah. super G. We are also going to compare when we get it to the point to where we can get a good rhythm in with uh, with the car this, with certain different types the of cars, cars you can get in the states. Um, so yeah, but uh, that'll be that'll be two weeks down the road. And this car only runs backwards on yeah, the it's, tracks. Yeah, it's opposite to what the layout. So, you know, being European and made in Italy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's what we got coming up for you guys. So, we'll uh, we'll see you guys next weekend with a regular episode. And remember, keep racing them slot cars. Keep the wheels on the downside. Keep hitting the like button. Keep sharing. And uh, keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. We're up to 744 subscribers. I wouldn't know. So uh, if we get when we get to a thousand, we're gonna do something kind of cool. But we got to get to a thousand first. So we'll see you guys uh, next weekend. Catch you later. Bye.